Hello everyone, my name is Hoang. I'm currently working for Fujitsu Vietnam in PODC department. PODC stands for Platform of Saw Development Center. Today I would like to present one topic about the network traffic logging in the logging for security group and firewall. The so why we why do we need traffic logging? That is the question. As you know that the traf traffic flow defines its relationship with the uh, end user. Therefore, the understanding what happens on the traffic flow is uh, really necessary. And on the other hand, the it is also necessary for troubleshooting process why the system had issues related to networks at the, the when the uh, tenant or operator can access to internet. That is the, 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 the question for currently. So you know that the, the network traffic uh, network traffic logging will have the operator <coughs> in the auditing process why the system had issues re related to network communication. And also it can help the operator early detect the issue related to secu uh, security by threat analytics. And in case of uh, tenant, why deploy a security group or firewall? The tenant want to have a way to make sure the security group rule, uh, sorry, security rule work at its page. The unfortunately, currently, Neutron doesn't have any way to perform the above task. So it means that we would like to bring the login for security group and firewall to the Neutron. We, we are currently try, trying to propose the login API for uh, the Neutron with uh, some, some the proposed change in the API. This, this login API you can uh, capture on even related to security group rule or firewall rule. Also, the we, we are trying to the introduce layout the login API model can extend to other resource uh, more easier. Yeah, this, uh, as you can see on the screen, this uh, example of the, the API model that we are going to propose. The de detail of the D, uh, D API I will uh, explain in the next slide. Yeah, for the login G-Swap. Yeah, login G-Swap, the API, you have the operator or tenant that can collect and process the log data for tenant and save them to the file on community node or network node with uh, the, the some the enhancement. And the login network can uh, help to forward the log data to console log or central login server. It depends on the uh, UK demand. For the security group log and firewall log API, it will help the, the specify what even Relate to the security group of firewall want to log. Uh, as you can see on the screen, uh, it's an uh, example of security group log. If we want to speci uh, specify what kind of security group rule uh, with the direction ingress or egress or security group rule UID, we want to get log. We just insert this to the security group log API. That is uh, just an uh, overview about the logging API uh, model. The next, uh, next, I want to introduce the overview of the architecture that we are going to propose. When the operator or tenant uh, want to enable log filter, they will send the, the enable log request to the, the system by the user REST API or COI, as I have just uh, explained in the previous slide. Uh, after the request, uh, uh, send the uh, neutral server will uh, uh, will uh, get the request and in the neutral server we we'll try to propose uh, some the new uh, class and module as you can see on the block diagram with the login API extension class and uh, the some new model login visual security group after the processing in the neutral server we will use the RPC convert to call to the neutron agent with uh, the login agent extension, it is a new, uh, new extension that we are trying to propose into Neutron. 
with the some currently we are trying to support for the security group and the firewall lock but maybe in the near future it can flexible to uh, to plug able for the other resource after the enable lock the lock will be uh, forward to the sheet lock with the uh, with the uh, some the basic command and uh, in the collect the extension module will the collect on the the, the the lock data after the enable lock feature the operator or tenant can uh, check the lock by some option currently if the operator or uh, can uh, check the real through the control lock or the lock can be forward to the central lock in server it depends on the uk demand after that the notification or some the warning message will be notified to the operator or tenant this uh, overview of architecture that uh, we are uh, trying to propose to support the locking filter into the neutron the next slide is uh, deep dive into the security group logging. Yes. So, uh, in the Tokyo Submit, we already introduced the logging API for operator. If you have time, please refer the the following the, the link for more detail about the. Uh, our detailed design to support for the uh, operator in this the uh, submit in the out submit we try we are going to bring the login api for uh, to tenant by the support the uh, rbac for the login api and uh, the support the console log feature at uh, cmet and nova console log for more detail about the support the uh, uh, rbac for the login API and the support code slot, I will explain in the next slide. Yeah, need uh, the explain of the support login API for tenant. We are going to support the RBIC, uh, RBIC for the login API. The, uh, uh, the first the uh, admin, I mean, uh, I mean operator with the admin role will create the login G-Swap. and then the second. The admin will allow target to tenant by the 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 the, the command line example as you can see on the screen. After that, the tenant can attach the security group lock or firewall lock to the login resource. If the uh, in case of the tenant want to 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 The, uh, uh, the next I want to explain about the uh, support uh, console log. In the in the in case of support uh, console log, we are trying to uh, change ownership of the log file by the GSR command and uh, reach the log file data and show log on the the, the horizon log stop at the user. And after that, uh, you can check the 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 common line easy yeah so next uh, after we uh, enable to lock and lock data will be the out, uh, out output to the computer node or network node or it can be forward to the central login server in case of uh, the uh, uk demand so the next is uh, how to consume the lock data for the operator the operator can the uh, access directly to the file uh, log file on the company or network node or, or the operator can use the console log but in case of tenant that they can uh, only use the console log that uh, we are trying to propose yeah so what uh, uh, what the log data look like in the on the screen the our the it's an uh, example of the log data for security group and example for the tips packet log for the firewall with the some main field at a timestamp, then a EOD or some other field as you can see. So the goal in uh, go, our goal in the Newton the cycle, we are trying to support the log uh, layout log logging API model I as I have just it uh, explained. And then 
the first uh, step will support for the security group block in case of the operator only. So if you uh, want to get the more information about the this feature, please refer to the RFE a request filter for enhancement on the launch part and uh, our specification for currently. Yeah, in the further, we try to support uh, after support for the security group. We want to continue support of for the firewall logging, and then we will continue with the the, the logging for the tenant by support the uh, RBAC and control log. After after the we can support for some uh, basic filter. We will the support the heat cow filter to avoid the DD DDoS attack. And uh, we also the in the future we are planning to introduce the central server to analyze and virtualize the logging. Yeah, that one for the current our proposal to support the logging filter into the neutron. Uh, if you have uh, more questions or more comment, please contact to me at the the information on the, the slide. Yeah, okay. Uh, Walt Barnes, Chief Security Office of AT and T. We've had this since uh, Havana. We implemented it ourselves and been carrying it forward. Um, the log entries. You showed the tenant UUID, and that's essential. Yes. But you need the VV, the VM UUIDs too, because the RFC nineteen eighteen addresses just aren't any value when you try to correlate them across the whole site. Um, you can reverse engineer it, but it's so much easier if you can add those to the log address. Uh, can you speak to lower? Sure. Um, the log entries that you generate. Yes. You have the tenant UUID. Yes. That's important. Yes. You also need the VM. UUIDs. Yes. Not just the 1918 addresses. Yeah, exactly. It's a port UUID. Uh, port UUID is fine. Yeah. Uh, more UUIDs is better just because when they get used, sometimes you want to, you, you'd have to correlate it back. You'd have to do your own inventory processing, which you could do. Yes. But typically they're going to be forwarded out to an analysis. Yes. Code. And if the analysis node typically thinks it wants to correlate them by VM, yes. so the VM UUID is very helpful. Yeah, as you can see on the, just a moment. In the what even, did you specify the, specify what even related to security group? It means that the even in the our specification, it can handle your the UK. Okay. Yes. Yeah, in the in the UK, we or, uh, we also the mentioned the yeah. such kind of the. Yeah, any question? Okay, thank you, thank you very much for your time.